welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, it's time for Crystal to can tomatoes. She cans aromas, and I'm going to harvest them for her so she can can them today, and we'll bring you along for the canning process. Let me show you why Romas are such a great canning tomato, other than they're a paste tomato. This is the way they produce. Okay, they produce a lot. And what I'm going to harvest is two five-gallon buckets with our tears in them. You can go back and see how to make a tobacco, tomato harvesting bucket that we use. Uh, got the tears in them. And I'm going to harvest two of those buckets, and then we'll meet you back in the house. Okay. Two five-gallon buckets with the tears in them. Five-gallon buckets of Roma tomatoes. Now, why do I just get two five gallon buckets I could have picked probably five five gallon buckets of tomatoes that are ready to answer that question Crystal and I are not spring chickens anymore she can't do a 14 hour canning session and not hurt her back like I can't do a 14 hour gardening session and not hurt my back okay don't do dumb stuff we can do more tomorrow or the next day because some of these won't be as ripe because with these romas when you pick one sometimes the one beside it falls off that's not hardly as ripe and you don't want to just throw it down so you pick that one too so she'll go through these and cull a bunch and leave them on the counter to ripen for the next canning session whether that's tomorrow or the next day okay in the kitchen every canning project starts at the sink every freezing project starts at the sink. Basically every farm project starts at the sink. Crystal's going to wash them, clean off any bad spots, and cut an X at the blossom end. Okay, the next step is put tomatoes in boiling water and allow them to boil until the tomatoes, the skin starts to blister. Probably take a couple of minutes. Okay, you can see the tomatoes, the skins are just getting ready to just start peeling off. Now Crystal will take these and quench them in an ice water bath. That'll make it so she can handle them. And then she'll start peeling. And then she'll just add them to a container as they're peeled. And this process will continue until she's got that entire sink full done. The next step continues at the sink. Warm soapy water. Washing your lids and rings to get them ready. Now, that's a 16 liter tote. It is uh, full of cord and cut in half Roma tomatoes. So we'll see how many jars it gives us. Okay, we're ready to start. Crystal starts with her hot jars out of the dishwasher. She'll fill each quart jar with tomatoes.
get them down in there because she's going to have to leave a half inch of head space. Now, to each jar, she'll add one teaspoon of salt. Now, the salt is just for flavor. It has nothing to do with preservation. It's only for flavor. You can omit that if you want to. But now, she's going to open a fresh bottle of lemon juice. Because lemon juice, you want to use a fresh bottle every year because that way you can be assured of the acidity. Uh, she'll get that open, and then she will add two tablespoons of lemon juice to each jar. Now she'll use her debubbling tool and make sure she's got out all the bubbles. And if there's any pieces of tomato sticking up, she'll push those down in there to make sure that they're going to be below the cap. Now if you're going to do this home canning stuff, invest in the tools. It's well worth your investment. You know, it's one of those things you can uh, pay me now or pay me later. Invest in a set of tools. They're, not, they're fairly inexpensive and it gives you a good measuring tool as well as the debubbler and they're just easier to do and it's a whole lot easier to lift your jars out with a regular jar lifter than trying to use tongs or, or reach your hand down in there. You won't like reaching your hand down in that bowl of water. Now she keeps boiling water so that she can Pour the water in until there's a half inch of head space. And it's just a half an inch, not an inch of head space, just a half an inch. Once that's done, then she'll use some vinegar in water and wipe down the rims because this is a lot of work and you want it to seal so you don't want to mess up and maybe have something on your rim. I know you use the funnel, but the funnel doesn't assure you that you haven't put something on the rim. The next step is to, after you've wiped it down good, is to add a ring and a lid. Now she keeps her lids in water. It's not necessary that you have to do that anymore, but she just keeps them that way. Then she'll take and add those to her canner and then put the lid back on so that, or the quartz will keep the lid from going completely down, but she'll put the lid on to hold in as much energy as possible. And then the process continues. until she gets enough to fill the canner. Now, you want them to go in until they just, there's an inch of water over them, then you'll cover that and wait for that to come back to a complete rolling bowl before you start timing, and then we'll time 45 minutes. It started with a rolling bowl, and that's what you want to happen. You want there to be a rolling bowl. So Crystal will set the timer for 45 minutes. And don't start it early. Wait till you achieve that rolling bowl. Okay, the timer's gone off. Crystal will bring them out, dry the bottoms, and then set them on the counter 
You always want to have a, a towel or something down so that uh, it doesn't break your jars. Seven quarts fit in a canner load. And you can see she's got two more jars of tomatoes and then two jars of tomato, saw, uh, tomato juice. And what she'll do with the juice is she will can that right along with the, the pints of juice. She'll can those right along with the other tomatoes and just those four will go in there but you time it just like it's all a quart okay there's the final product uh, nine quarts of tomatoes and two pints of uh, tomato juice you just don't want to throw that tomato juice away that stuff's great for making jambalaya and things like that with rice so All the seals are down, all of them sealed. You know, it takes a while for them to seal when there's a only half inch of head space, but they're all sealed down. And uh, in 24 hours, they'll be ready to go in the cupboard. Okay, we've got uh, all of our jars down. They've all sealed. So that was a, a pretty well a success for the uh, harvesting buckets. They held almost exactly half a bushel of tomatoes. A bushel of tomatoes, 56 pounds. So I figured those were somewhere around 15 pounds, 15 pounds a bucket. So this pretty well shows that that's about right. Uh, you should get about 18 quarts out of a bushel. So now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel, subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. And if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now with that being said, it's time for us to get on to the next thing.